Uh, this is my uh, video log for the recording studio construction in the basement. Uh, the construction I'm working on, uh, pretty wide open space except for one wall that was pre-built with the home. I can't really knock it down without uh, risking doing damage to the, the floor above. So, uh, what you can see above me, these are uh, two by eights running vertically is the floor joists above. And uh, I've uh, decided to take one section of the room, which is here. The, the wall that's uh, pre-existing, as you can see, 16 on center studs, but they're mounted to the floor joists above. Uh, that is going to be a, a possible uh, transition zone where noise can uh, radiate through the wall into the floor joists above. So I've uh, done my best to, with a hammer, kind of knock the, uh, the boards away from the uh, mounting boards that uh, are actually connected so that I've got maybe a sixteenth of an inch, maybe a little even less, of where it's just nails. Uh, so there's a tiny little gap between the boards that are running vertical and the cross members so that uh, the energy of an amplifier or a very loud stereo uh, won't be able to transition so smoothly. Uh, wood to wood is a bad idea. So I've already started the uh, phase one of construction. You've got, uh, I've got the uh, boards here mounted in such a way that uh, they're running perpendicular to the floor joists and the, uh, if you can see the bracket that I've got here, I'm just starting. I've got four of these in right now, but I'm going to be doing several of them. Uh, these are what's called hurricane ties, and I've got a, a large number of them here in a box. It's a, uh, a bracket that looks like this, and the idea is uh, when I'm connecting the ceiling from the, the control room is what this room here is going to be. It's a fairly small room. It's only 8 foot by 10 foot. Uh, and it's actually going to have a, a tapered wall in one on the back and then coming down uh, for just a little extra storage space. Maybe put a couch in the back of the room. But it's going to be 8 feet wide and actual usable space is about 10 feet, which is plenty for a control room. But uh, this bracket, when I uh, connect it up to the the uh, ceiling, I'm leaving, sh I'm shimming it a little bit, about uh, maybe uh, three quarters of an inch. So I'm using two of these holes in the side and mounting it to the ceiling itself. So when I connect it up, it'll be inverted, of course. It'll be a slight gap like this so that there is no, very little... Uh, connection space. Uh, the direct resonance of my wall will be uh, coming up, making connection with this wood here, but uh, when, when I build the wall down, it'll be directly connected to the ceiling, but the ceiling is not directly connected to the floor above, uh, which is, you know, my kitchen and my living room just uh, off to the side a little bit. So uh, I'm going to be doing these video logs periodically and uh, showing my progress. Uh, it is intended that I will have uh, soundproofing insulation in two layers. Uh, I'm going to run with the floor joists of the room above. And then once I've got that in and I'm just about ready after I've got all my electrical wiring done in the room, then I'm going to uh, run the insulation. I'm using uh, Roxol. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Rock Wool. Roxol is the brand. And uh, it is a, uh, a, a very high quality, but not terribly expensive, soundproofing insulation. It's made out of like uh, magma rock. <laughs> but uh, the, uh, when I've got the, the studio ready for the next phase, I'm, I'll uh, post another log. I'm, the, this is a long term project. And uh, I know some people might be interested in building their own studio, but don't know how. So I'm uh, posting uh, individual videos so you can show step by step how to convert a basement into a soundproof chamber. Even if it wasn't going to be a studio, it was going to be a, uh, an entertainment room. If you wanted to be more soundproof for the rest of the house where you could crank it up to 11 if you wanted to. 
and not have to worry about the the neighbors or your your spouse in the living room complaining about the loudness. Well, that's what this is going to be. Um, so uh, I've got to get to work. I'm going to be mounting uh, quite a few more of these to give uh, stability to the ceiling. Again, it's suspended and just hanging from the rafters, which are the floor joists. And uh, I've got to get uh, probably about a dozen more of these. I got four right now. I figure it's an eight by eight square right now, what I've got. And uh, the back end here, you can see the uh, there's a step here. And angle the camera. There you go. So this steps down by about eight inches because uh, we've got like a, an open floor plan above. And this would be the living room, the beginning of it, going into the next room. So this is going to angle down and then come across, but uh, only about one extra stud. So another 16 to 18 inches there. So uh, that's all I got for right now. I'll post a, uh, a video soon of uh, additional steps that we've taken. And uh, with any luck, I'll be able to post actual live video of the construction that could be useful as well. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.